in the heart of ancient lands, where the sands whisper secrets of ages past, and the stars chart destinies of kings and queens, there lies a prophecy, an oracle's vision, veiled in mystery and foretelling the union that would shape the course of history. This is the sensational tale of how the fates of Queen Sheba and King Solomon were intertwined long before their paths ever crossed. High on the cliffs of Ethiopia, in a secluded temple, an oracle once received a vision that would echo through the annals of time. The stars aligned, casting an ethereal glow upon the sacred stones, as the oracle spoke of a future where the Queen of Sheba would unite with a king of unparalleled wisdom. This prophecy, shrouded in enigma, foretold a union that would bring prosperity and peace, yet also stir the sands of conflict and change. The ancient text, The Glory of Kings, mentions this oracle's vision, describing it as a celestial whisper that would echo through the ages. Queen Sheba, known for her beauty and intellect, was not merely a ruler, but a seeker of truth. Guided by whispers of the ancient prophecy, she embarked on an arduous journey across deserts and seas, her retinue glittering with gold and precious gems. Sheba's quest was more than a diplomatic venture. It was a pilgrimage predestined by celestial forces. As she traversed the vast expanse, the oracle's words echoed in her mind, urging her toward the land of Israel and its fabled king. The Book of the Queen chronicles Sheba's journey, describing her as a queen of wisdom and grace, guided by the stars to her destiny. Far from Sheba's homeland, in the heart of Jerusalem, King Solomon was no stranger to divine communication. One fateful night, under the canopy of a moonlit sky, Solomon dreamt of a queen who would challenge his wisdom and share his throne. The dream, vivid and profound, was interpreted by his trusted seers as the fulfillment of the ancient prophecy. Solomon awoke with a sense of destiny, preparing his court for the arrival of a queen foretold by the heavens. The Psalms of Solomon describe this dream, portraying it as a celestial warning of a queen who would test the king's wisdom and capture his heart. When Sheba finally arrived in Jerusalem, her entrance was nothing short of majestic. The city buzzed with anticipation, its streets lined with curious onlookers eager to witness the fabled meeting. Solomon, adorned in royal splendor, greeted Sheba with a blend of respect and intrigue. Their initial encounter was a spectacle, a moment where prophecy met reality, and the air crackled with the electricity of destiny fulfilled. The annals of Jerusalem vividly describe this meeting, stating that the queen and the king stood before each other, their eyes locked in a dance of destiny. In Solomon's court, Sheba presented riddles and questions, each designed to test the king's legendary wisdom. These exchanges were more than intellectual sparring, they were a fulfillment of the oracle's vision. Each question and answer deepened their connection, revealing not just their intellect but their shared reverence for the divine. The prophecy had foretold a union of minds, as much as of hearts, and with each revelation, the bond between Sheba and Solomon grew stronger. The wisdom of Solomon captures these exchanges, describing them as a dance of words and wit, where the queen and the king revealed the depths of their wisdom and faith. Embedded within the tale of Sheba and Solomon is a deeper philosophical allegory reflecting the eternal pursuit of light and knowledge. Sheba's journey symbolizes the quest for truth and enlightenment, crossing physical and metaphorical deserts to reach the source of wisdom. Solomon, the embodiment of divine wisdom, represents the beacon of light that guides seekers toward higher understanding. Their union, foretold by the oracle, is an allegory of unity and harmony 
where different paths converge toward a single, enlightened purpose. The union of Sheba and Solomon, foretold by the Oracle, brought unprecedented prosperity to their respective realms. Trade flourished, cultural exchanges enriched their societies, and a golden age dawned. Sheba returned to her kingdom with new wisdom and alliances, while Solomon's reign was blessed with the treasures and knowledge of Sheba's land. The prophecy, once a distant whisper, had become a reality that reshaped their empires and echoed through history. The Chronicles of the East and the Annals of Israel both document the impact of this union, describing it as a golden age of peace and prosperity that transformed the known world. Yet, not all was harmonious. The union, while beneficial, also sowed seeds of jealousy and rivalry. Solomon's court, filled with foreign influences, faced internal strife as traditionalists clashed with proponents of change. Sheba's advisors, wary of foreign entanglements, questioned the wisdom of her alliance. These conflicts, driven by strong and passionate characters, added layers of complexity to their story, making the prophecy's fulfillment as challenging as it was glorious. The lamentations of the prophets and the scrolls of the elders touch upon these conflicts, portraying them as the price of greatness and the cost of change. In the ancient realms where prophecy and wisdom intertwine, the destinies of Queen Sheba and King Solomon were written in the stars. Their union, foretold by an oracle, was a testament to the pursuit of knowledge and the unity of diverse paths. This is their story, a tale of prophecy fulfilled, of kingdoms united, and of a legacy that reshaped the world.